Hey everyone, for today's clipboard series, I wanted to show you how to do this daisy mesh design. So first you'll wanna grab your clipboard, grab a thicker piece of rope. This is 3 16 inch cotton braided rope. And three, six, nine, twelve strands of two millimeter cotton twisted rope. For this design, you'll be working with six cords for each diamond. So we'll make the top portion of the diamond, the bottom portion, and then go all the way across, making the diamonds or the daisies. Um, we'll add a square knot in the middle, and then we'll also connect each row with a square knot. So I just attached each strand with a lark's head knot to the thicker piece of rope and then I started making the diamonds all the way across and I'll show you that here. So here you want to take, this was the filler cord for the bottom portion of the diamond and you'll want to take the same filler cord and you're going to make diagonal clove hitch knots from right to left with these two cords at an angle. So that's one. That's two. Remember you'll do two knots for each diagonal clove hitch knot. And now you'll want to take, let's see, this cord this was the filler cord in the upper portion of this diamond. And you'll want to do two clove hitch knots from left to right to complete the top portion of the first diamond. And you can kind of correct it by holding it at the angle you want and then finishing your second portion of the knot to tighten it in place. Okay, so now we have four cords in the middle. So take your filler cords and throw them to the side. And we'll be creating a square knot with these four cords in the middle. So you'll do the left facing half knot, then the right facing half knot to complete the square knot. And now you're going to be using the same filler cords to do diagonal clove hitch knots for the bottom portion. So same filler cord, and do two diagonal clove hitch knots from left to right. Okay, and now you'll take your other filler cord, go right to left. We'll do two diagonal clove hitch knots again. One, and now this is two. And now you'll wanna complete the diamond. So with your same filler cord going from right to left, you'll take the other filler cord and tie two or one clove hitch knot onto that filler cord to complete that diamond. And you'll bring it and you'll close it in tight with your first knot and you'll take your second knot and finish it off. So that is how you complete the diamond and we're going to do that all the way across. So you'll take the same filler cord and you'll do two clove hitch knots. Okay, so now you'll take the first cord up here that was the filler cord in the upper diamond 
and you'll do two clove hitch knots again. You'll take the four in the middle, put your filler cords to the side, and tie your score knot. Okay, same filler cord. You'll take the first cord, do two diagonal clove hitch knots. Other filler cord, two clove hitch knots, and then the third and final clove hitch knot with the other filler cord. I'll repeat the same thing two more times. I'll try to do it quickly for you, or you can fast forward to the next portion. If you're working on a bigger project, you would want to tape the ends of your rope if you were using, you know, a three-ply rope. I didn't do that here, and you can see it kind of gets snagged when you're pulling the knots through. But this is just for a small design on the clipboard, a little clipboard series. Okay. Okay, and the last one. And I always keep these filler cords straight when I'm making my square knot. You can also do, um, oops, I'm gonna tighten that. You can also do um, like a half knot sennet in there or another cute knot in between each diamond. Okay, 
So now that we have all of our diamonds done all the way across, now we will take, let's see, one, two, three, four, So it'll be cord five, six, seven, and eight. So you'll see that you wanna take, these two cords will be your filler cords, and then the outer two next to those will be your working cords. So put the first four cords to the side, and you'll do your square knot. And again, you can do a half knot sennet, a square knot sennet, um, anything right here to connect these rows, It'd be cute. And you'll do the same. Find the two center, and the outer two working. So you'll skip two, do your square knot. And that is how you connect each row. Whenever I started, I started knotting with all of these Lark's Head knots close together. And then when I tied the first square knot combining the rows, I wanted to space it out more so you could see this knot. If you had them closer together, that's, you know, a different look. Um, but I wanted to see each knot in between. So you can take your design off and just evenly space these rows apart. And put it back on and you can start knotting. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them. If you have any designs that you want to see me do, I'd love to hear those too. So thank you for watching.